So, good afternoon everyone. So, today I am going to give a lecture on uh, geotechnical engineering. So, in this, in this lecture or in this session, so we have to discuss the uh, importance of the geotechnical. So, what is the importance of the geotechnical and all we have to discuss in this session. So, we are going to discuss uh, geotechnical engineering. Uh, so, so, what is the main importance, why they are introduced in, the, in this uh, geotechnical engineering, the particular in the civil engineering uh, subject. So, in this lecture, so we have to discuss geotechnical, so it can be uh, uh, classified broadly. So, so while it is uh, interrelated to the uh, engineering mechanics. So, after engineering mechanics, we have to study uh, fluid mechanics and hydraulics and next part coming, in third year, we have to study uh, geotechnical engineering or soil mechanics. So here it, it is interrelated, interrelated to the uh, first year to up to third year or final year. So in this session, so in the geotechnical, we are going to discuss the geotechnical engineering. So in the point of geotechnical engineering, so we have to discuss. So in this, so in this uh, geotechnical engineering, we have to discuss geo. So geo is nothing but earth related materials. So what are the earth related materials? So it is nothing but construction material. So in the construction material, so earth related material is nothing but construction uh, material. In the construction purpose material, so we have to use the building and bridges and dams and uh, reservoirs. So many types of uh, structures we have to use this in the construct, uh, earth related material. So here in the geo is nothing but earth. So in the earth we have to study in the soil and rocks, next boulders, so next aggregates. So next silt, so next clay, all these parameters, all these different types of material available on the uh, earth. So in this, all these materials we have to use and we have to use in the construction purpose. So here, so when you are going to discuss in the geotechnical engineering, sometimes we call it as a soil mechanics. So sometimes we call it as a soil mechanics, nowadays we are calling it as a uh, uh, soil mechanics in the soil mechanics nothing but so we are going to discuss the soil mechanics so we have to so we have to study uh, so first we have to study and the soil mechanics we are going to study so soil is nothing but naturally occurring unconsolidated surface of the earth material so it is naturally occurring so we are not preparing we are not uh, uh, making the any type of material it is naturally occurring if you take it in a uh, uh, forest areas in the forest areas and uh, like if, if you go uh, when you are exploiting 2, 3, 4 meters below the ground level so you will get automatically some uh, some kind of materials like aggregates and boulders and so if you go to uh, uh, mine areas you will get coals so like that it is naturally occurring materials so surface of the earth so naturally occurring unconsolidated material so unconsolidated is nothing but so unconsolidated so unconsolidated material so so it is unconsolidated material is nothing but so it is loose material so suppose it is loose material so if you excavate in the so suppose if you take it uh, this is a ground level so we have to design one structure so above the ground level so when you are going to excavate the uh, 2 meters or 3 meters depth you will get some different types of materials so in this material so we will get sometimes aggregates and boulders and rocks and soil and silt and many types of uh, form you will get. So here in this material, in this loose material we cannot use construction purpose. So that is the reason. So in this uh, uh, loose material, so we have to add some admixtures like uh, we are adding some amount, of, we are adding the, some different kind of materials into the soil. In a particular soil, whether it is black soil or kyolite uh, or myolite and any type of material. So here in the loose material we cannot use the construction purpose. So that is the reason. So at the time, so we have to add some admixtures. So admixtures is nothing but some we have different types of admixtures. So uh, sometimes we have to study so lime, so next bitumen, so next sometimes we have to use fibers, sometimes we have to use so geosynthetics material. So these kind of many type of materials we have to use and we have to we have to strengthen the soil. So strengthening the soil is nothing but so so we have to improve the improvement of soil properties. So what are the soil properties? And all we have to discuss one by one. 
So in this regards, so in the articles we are adding, when you are going to discuss the definition of this oil only. So definition of this oil is nothing but it is a naturally occurring unconsolidated surface of the earth material. So in this soil, in this soil after completion of the soil, so then we go for so how the soil mechanics or geotechnical engineering classified what on what basis. So in the soil, we, we just now we have discussed the soil definition. So in this geotechnical engineering, so so sometimes we call if you take it in agriculturist, soil is nothing but naturally occurring unconsolidated surface of the earth material. So in this soil, so uh, agriculture people also they have to study. Next geologist people also study. Next geotechnical people also they have to study. Next foundation engineering people also they have to study. What, why they are, why they have to study? Is nothing but if you are going to discuss in agriculture purpose. So ag agriculture purpose we have to use the soil. So in this uh, when the crops grown up at the time of grown up. So otherwise if you take it in sugar sugar canes. So at the time, so we are using the black cotton soil. It is a best, uh, best cultivation of the soil material. Best cultivation of the material. So black cotton soil. So that is the reason if you see in the uh, at the time of uh, summer, at the time of rainy season, at the time of winter season, the soil can be behaves different. Okay. So here in the agriculture people have to they have to study. So while coming geologists, engineering geologists. So in the engineering geologists people also they have to study. So very very important. So why they are studying in the engineering geologists people? So they have to study uh, when you are going to design any dams or any bridges are and uh, any reservoirs otherwise they have uh, when you are going to des design any uh, big structures so at the time geologists people they have to come and they have to uh, they have to study the so what is the proper uh, material below the uh, ground level availability so at based on that ground report they have to uh, go for this particular uh, soil is suitable or particular ground is suitable for design of dams and beach and reservoirs any type of material so that is the reason uh, in this uh, soil they have to study all the engineering uh, geologist people and agriculture people and foundation engineering people everybody they have to study so here in the, in the soil after completion of the soil then we go for soil geotechnical engineering so after geotechnical engineering so sometimes we call it as a soil mechanics so after completion of the soil mechanics then we go for so foundation engineering so you know foundation engineering so after foundation engineering then we go for ground improvement so we have to study all the things so so ground improvement also we have to study so after completion of that ground uh, improvement next engineering geology so engineering geology we have to study so after engineering geology we go for rock mechanics so so why we are calling it as a geotechnical called as a soil mechanics and foundation engineering and ground improvement techniques and uh, so next uh, engineering geology and rock engineering and next soil engineering so why is there, why why you are calling these names these many names in particular geotechnical engineering so why, why we have to study see in the geotechnical engineering it is nothing but so if you see here geo is nothing but so earth related materials so earth related materials so we have just now we have discussed uh, uh, clay silt gravel boulders aggregates these are the earth related materials so uh, after this one, arthritic materials. So these materials we have to use in the construction purpose. So whatever that may be, whether it is a bridge or a dam, any type of uh, structure. So we have to use that particular materials. So next, then we go for our completion of that geotechnical engineering. Then we we have to discuss engineering soil mechanics. So just now we have we have discussed. Uh, soil mechanics, the soil is nothing but naturally occurring unconsolidated surface of the earth material. So, in the naturally occurring unconsolidated uh, surface of the earth material, so uh, that we call as a soil. So, according to uh, according to Carlay von Hezegi. 
is the Tabia GH IS. So this is the Carl Levin Tesik is the father of soil mechanics. So according to uh, father of soil mechanics, soil is nothing but naturally occurring unconsolidated surface of the earth material. So after this completion of the, the geo, uh, soil and geotechnical engineering, then we go for soil mechanics. In the soil mechanics is nothing but naturally occurring unconsolidated surface of the earth material. So what about this one? In the mechanics, just we are, we are taking the key soil mechanics. So limit the soil. So we, we know that soil is nothing but this and the, that at all. So after, uh, when you are coming here, mechanics. So mechanics is nothing but loss of forces. So the loss of forces on, on the soil. So the application of losses of force on the soil that we call as a soil mechanics. That is the reason in the soil, when we are going to study engineering, uh, the geotechnical engineering or soil mechanics. So we have to study Dorsey's law, quotient of permeability, surface tension. So these we already studied in uh, fluid mechanics, uh, hydraulics and all we, we studied it there itself. But again we have to study in mechanics is nothing but loss of application of forces acting on soil. So that we call as a mechanics. So in, in soil mechanics is nothing but the loss of application of forces acting on the soil. So in the particular soil, so we have 22 type, 22 groups of soil. So so 22 groups of soils that we can classify uh, one by one. Well, coming next lecture. So this one, if you see in this uh, soil mechanics, we have discussed now very clearly the loss of application of forces acting on the soil that we call as a soil mechanics. Um, next, after completion of that one, well, coming foundation engineering. So what do, what do you mean by foundation engineering? See, uh, in the foundation is nothing but very very important. We, we just know. So uh, in our in our college, otherwise, if you take it on our homes, otherwise, if you take it in a, uh, like any multi-storied buildings, our residential buildings and commercial buildings, so they design below the ground level. So what kind of structure that one? So what kind of foundation? Actually, we don't know. So according to Kale von Tesegi, that we have to study very clearly. So here. In the foundation is nothing but so in the foundation is nothing but uh, uh, according to Carle von Tesseki uh, df by b less than or equals to 1. So if you take it, this is a so this is a this is a depth of the foundation. So if you take it in this is a depth of foundation. So this is the depth of foundation. So otherwise I can draw very clearly. Suppose if you take it in our Hyderabad metro, so they are going to expect the 
depth up to 50, uh, 20 to 50 meters. So based on, so why they are taking 20 to 50 meters depth? Because they are going to give uh, huge loads. So if we take it in our Hyderabad metro example as take it in uh, depth, of, that is uh, they are taking depth of the footing is 20 to 50 meters because they are giving huge loads. So that is the reason they are going to design. So uh, the, uh, they are going to exploit the pit 20 to 30 meters. So at the time, so in our Hyderabad metro, so what we what we call this, what kind of foundation that one, so we have to study. So here, if you take it in foundation in the easy, so then we are giving the loads here. So this is the ground level. So this we call as a column. Okay. So this is the entire thing is footing. So uh, if you take here, if you see in this according to so Tezagi, so df by v less than one. So df by v so greater than one. So so less than one means 0 0.5 to 0 0.90 that we call as a otherwise one. So df by v less than one, df by v greater than one. So based on the uh, depth by Birth ratio df by b less than equals to 1 that we call as a shallow foundation. So, so when you are going to uh, study uh, foundation engineering, so that is the reason the foundation is nothing but so we have shallow foundation. So, next, so this we call as a s suffix f. So, this is a 1 and next d foundations. So, d foundations, so that we call as a df. So shallow foundation and deep foundation, this, we have two different types of foundations. So, so why we need to study all these things, whether it is shallow or foundation or deep foundation. So when you are going to design any structure, even when it comes to our homes also. So coming to homes to whether uh, reservoirs and dams and bridges and metros. Uh, so, so we have to study whether, whether it is uh, uh, shallow foundation, otherwise deep foundation. So based on when you are going to give the loads, so based on the load conditions, based on the uh, soil conditions, okay. Suppose if you take this clay, so it is highly, uh, uh, highly characteristic, highly expansive nature. So highly expansive nature. So that is the reason at the time of clay soil, we can't design deep foundation. So df by b less than or equals to 1, df by b more than 1, that we call as a shallow foundation, deep foundation. So df by b less than 1 that we call as a shallow foundation. So shallow foundation nothing but small uh, residential buildings that we shallow foundation. So next when you are coming to df by b greater than 1 that we call as a d foundation. The shallow foundation can be uh, classified as uh, many from, uh, many types. So that we call as mat footing. Next mat footing. Next raft footing. Next, combined footing. So, raft, mat, combined footing. These are the we have another types also. So, now we will discuss this one only. So, shallow foundation it can be classified into mat foundation, raft foundation, combined footings. So, so these are the shallow foundation based on the df by b uh, less than one or df by b greater than one. So, df by b less than one that we call as a shallow foundation. So, so after completion of that one, then we go for D foundations. So, D foundations is nothing but so so uh, the depth is more. Okay, the depth is greater than one meter means it will go 10, 20, 30, 40. So that we call as D foundation. So the D foundation. So if you take it in uh, example as a well foundations in our villages. So we 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 know uh, wells. So people are. So the, Kids, they are going to swimming. That they, that we call as a well foundations. So well foundation, ducks and harbors. Okay. So next to reservoirs and bridges and dams. The, all these the structure which comes under this D foundation zone. So these are the shallow foundation and uh, foundation branch deals uh, sufficient. So when when you are going to study the foundation, so what are the loads we are giving to the that loads directly transfer to the so directly transfer to the Soil only. So whether you are giving 50 kilometer or 20 kilometer, 30 kilometer, that, 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 that is directly transmitted to the particular soil only. In the particular soil, 
so in the whether it is uh, when you are giving 100 kilo newton suppose if you take it if you take it this is the uh, underlying this is the uh, structure so this is uh, this is a footing this is a column of the structure so uh, suppose when you are giving 100 kilo newton so suppose i am giving 100 kilo newton load so that 100 kilo newton whether this structure will be capable or not whether it is bare or not that we need to study very clearly so that is the reason so when you are going to give the uh, kilo, uh, 100 km or 20 km 30 km return so first we have to study investigation soil investigation or soil uh, exploration soil investigation or soil exploration so that that we have to study that is the reason so we have to study uh, many people they are going to establish the so many consultancies so consultants, geotechnical consultants people, they will go and they will check the uh, site condition, particular soil conditions. The condition, particular soil is loose condition, they go for alternate, they go for alternate methods. So whether it is, uh, uh, that soil is very loose condition, so otherwise sandy soil, otherwise black soil, otherwise murram soil. So what kind of uh, uh, structure, what kind of foundation suitable on particular soil, they will do investigation report that we call as a soil investigation report so that is the reason so when you are going to clay and silica and sand we can't design deep foundation but they will design 100 percent we have to design but we go for alternate methods that methods we have to stabilize the soil otherwise we have to improve the soil so otherwise we have to replace the soil that is a different case okay so this is a foundation engineering so after foundation engineering then we go for rock mechanics so, see, we, as of you know, uh, we have uh, rocks, as of you know, rocks mechanics is the science, uh, science during the application of, application of the principles of the mechanics to uh, understanding the behavior of rock masses. So, rock mechanics is nothing but principles of uh, applications of principles of applications of the mechanics to understanding the uh, behavior of the rocks whether if you, if you take it in uh, engineering mechanics or soil mechanics just only study in the soil mechanics uh, what are the the forces acting in a particular soil that we call as a soil mechanic the next uh, coming the forces acting on the particular rock that we call as a rock mechanics so rock mechanics engineering geology next uh, in, uh, soil mechanics, geotechnical engineering and foundation engineering. So these all these comes under this the geotechnical engineering only. So in this geotechnical engineering broadly classified into two categories. Now then we go for so what is the exact exact the difference between so now we have so, so as per curriculum we have two subset it can be divided into so geotechnical engineering makes advanced or advanced or or foundation engineering so advanced foundation sometimes we call it as sometimes they will do so they anti foundation engineering so so whether it is advanced foundation or foundation engineering what is the main difference just now so just now i have drawn the word on diagram so i'll show you again i draw the diagram Please listen very carefully. So this is <laughs> we'll discuss. This is uh, footing. So we have some different mat footing, rack footing, combined footing. So so after footing, then we we have above the ground level. So we have this we call as a column. So this we call as a columns. So in this columns, so we have some soil particles nothing but ground level so in the ground level so we have in the ground level we have soil particle so next we have so load so when you are going to give the load so in this load so we are studying the difference between geotechnical engineering and foundation engineering so here, if you see these two diagrams, if you see this diagram, this is a footing. This is a uh, I, I draw the one foundation. I draw the one footing. So in this footing, 
this is the ground level this is the column this is the footing see this is the when you are going to discuss in the geotechnical engineering and foundation engineering suppose when you are going to study the so below the ground level so this part so we have to study geotechnical engineering only so geotechnical engineering so above above this part so we have to study foundation engineering so so geotechnical engineering and foundation engineering so in the geotechnical engineering so we have to study substructure only the we know the meaning of substructure meaning of superstructure so in the foundation engineering we have to study superstructure so what is the superstructure what is the substructure in the superstructure is nothing but uh, above the ground level substructure nothing but below the ground level so in the below the ground level what kind of material so what kind of uh, soils what kind of rock strata what kind of soil strata that we have to study in the geotechnical engineering and substructure so while coming foundation engineering that we have to study uh, superstructure so then uh, in this two uh, we have to study the geotechnical as well as foundation engineering superstructure and substructure